Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. I'm going to do a bit of a different project for you today. I'm going to do a bag tag. Now this be, might be something that you would do um, for one of your children at school or your grandchildren or it could be something for a piece of luggage that you're taking away. Uh, probably not on a flight because they get trashed. Um, but just to put your, your name on something. Um, and I'm going to use um, the... Um, now what's it actually called it's called the coaster board uh, from Stampin' Up um, you get five uh, sorry eight pieces of it in a pack um, and it is about 12 inches by six inches and what's great is that it cuts with the framelits um, you might have used a uh, coaster board of various sorts in the past um, that won't cut with the framelits, uh, but this will, so that is fabby. Um, the other thing about it um, is that it is exactly the right width to go through your big shop. So once again, if you've ever bought those great big giant sheets of it, and I know I have, um, you then had to hack away at it to get it to go through your, your uh, big shop, and this you don't. So I'm using one of my Deco lab Labels um, framelit dies and I have popped out a little label and as you can see they're quite, it's, um, it's quite substantial, it's, it's, not, um, it's not thin and flimsy, it's quite nice and thick. So I'm going to put this to one side and we're going to look at different ways of, of decorating this. Now one of the ways I would suggest that is quite nice is to use some designer series paper. Um, this pack here is just gorgeous and I'm going to get a little piece of this out. Um, this is um, the etc. It's called designer series paper and this is all advertisements on this side. I just love this and it's sort of quite distressed um, looking um, but I really rather like that. Um, so that would be one thing that you could do and I'm going to do this on one side of this. So I've just cut this piece out and I've just put Tombow all over it and stuck it onto here. I would have showed you that on the video but the video switched off while I was doing it. So rather than film again, I'm sure you'll let me off. I'm going to use a little bit of baked brown sugar and I'm just going to daub the edges to give that even a little bit more distressed look. It's, as I say, all those different advertisements, including one for a brain tonic. I'm doing this for my sister, so that'll make her laugh. As a PhD, she doesn't really need a brain tonic. OK, so that's that one done. So on the other side, um, I want to put her name, um, but she is a PhD, as I said, but she's a marine biologist, is, is what she's a PhD of. So I thought I'd do a little bit of marine stamping for her. So I'll go with this one. Now, what I'm going to do is pick up on some of the colours that are on there. Um, but I do want some greeny colour. Just very gentle. So I'm going to go for pistachio pudding. And ink this up. And this is the ferny seaweedy bit and stamp that on first and then um, let's have a look at those colours so I think in fact the, the best thing for me to do is to check on the back of the pack because what I love now is they tell us which colours are in here so we've got baked brown sugar which I've just used around the edges calypso coral, night of navy, old olive, pool party and very vanilla um, so I'm going to go for some Calypso Coral and I'm going to do my lobster here. I'll put him on and then I'll go for one of the other colours. We'll go for a bit of um, a pool party I think. the shell down there and then what I want to do is put my sister's name over the top I might put some other 
bits on there. In fact, I'll just do what I'll do is I'll just stamp off with that. Just looking for a little bit of scrap and put a bit of the text in there because that's quite pretty. And the Nantucket. And what was the other um, colour in there was the light of wavy. So I'll just do the Nantucket bits. So we've picked up quite a few of the same colours that are on the other side. Um, but before I stamp her name, what I want to do is to cut that out again. So back over. So there we go. I've cut that out, that piece out there with the framelit. And I think uh, once more into the baked brown sugar, dear friends. And we'll just give that a little distressed edge on there as well. To do my sister's um, name, actually, I'm going to do it in baked brown sugar. I'm going to do my sister's name um, with the um, sketch alphabet and numbers. I'm going to do it on a separate piece um, and just show you how I would use these. These are um, fabulous. That you, you can get an outline version of them as well, but I actually just really like the sketched versions on their own. So my sister's Maria, M-A-R-I, and we're going to need the A again. So I'm going to take a, a block and then lay these down. Now you're going to be laying them back to front, and I'm going to use the grid paper that's underneath to give me a guide of how to get those sort of straightish. Now the best way I find to go with letters is either to be very careful and try and get them as straight as possible or go completely um, scroogey, that is the technical term, and all over the place and then it doesn't look as if you were trying to get them straight. I am going to have a go at getting this straight, but the best thing to do is to have a little go. Where's my bit of scrap? So having lined those up, that's not too bad. They're a little bit scroogey. But I can live with that. So I'm going to go on to here first of all. If I decide I can um, I can cope with it, I might just go straight on. So that's her name. That does look cute. Right, so I've run that through the big shop with the um, small oval die to get my sister's name on there. But I think that needs a little bit more decoration. So, back in with the pistachio pudding, and we'll just cover that over, and then I'm going to ink the edges there. Now, I'm going to attach this to the back, decide which way round we want it. The adverts are actually going in all directions, so there isn't a kind of a right and a wrong as such. I'm going to run that, put that through there. Okay. Now I could just put the, the Maria's name onto the tag like that, or like that. I could put it on this side. Decisions, decisions. I think down like that is how it looks the nicest. So I'm going to stamp the fish. I'm going to do them in pool party. But then I'm going to take the... Um, the baked brown sugar marker and add a little bit and I'm also going to take the Calypso coral marker and add a little bit of colour pretty see it just is going to pick up some of the the colours that are on there I think he's going to need that same oval. Let's see if he'll go into this one. 
not quite. So I'm going to use that same oval again to cut on the bit. Right, so I have just daubed around the edge and put the little fish on there. Cute. Now all we need now is a little hole um, for hanging this onto a bag. Um, we could use um, something like a cropper dial. I'm going to give this a little go. This is um, using the framelits uh, from Chalk Talk, which are designed to go through. Um, but I'm actually asking it to do rather a lot here because I'm asking it to go through the board, but also to go through two pieces of cardstock. Um, so it might be a little bit much for it, but I'm going to give this a go on the big shot and see how we go. OK, we've gone through there. Um, I did use um, a file here to actually neaten that off. Um, ideally, I would say um, don't do what I've just done. Um, I would say uh, just go with, go with a um, a single layer is absolutely fine with the framelits, but but um, I think putting the extra layers on was just a little bit too much for it. Um, so I probably would use a cropper dial next time I do that. Um, let's put a bit of ribbon on, and I've got some knight of navy, and this is the stitched grow grain ribbon, and pop that through. And that'll make a great bag tag for my sister. And I think she'll really like it. So I hope you've enjoyed your visit to Elizabeth's craft room today. I look forward to welcoming you back soon. Love.